Thank you, Madam Chair. This evening, I'm very pleased to bring to you my first State of the Board address since accepting the position of Director of Education last fall. As I'm sure trustees are aware, the annual State of the Board address provides an introduction to our strategic directions and system priorities report, which will give you a greater understanding of some of our specific goals and how we intend to operationalize the fundamental conceptual tenor of what I will speak to this evening. Madam Chair, since you and your fellow trustees placed, in me this, placed me in this role, my credo has been a simple one. We need to be better today than we were yesterday, and we need to be even better tomorrow than we were today. We are far less concerned about arriving at a final destination than we are with staying on a continual upward trajectory. We are on a continuum of constant improvement. It's a simple philosophy on paper, but can be a challenge to put into practice in our day-to-day -day lives. I can assure you, however, that we are working diligently together to ensure that it's a philosophy enshrined in every corner of our organization. As the administrative director of this organization, I take full responsibility for making it meaningful to every member of our team. I pledge to lead by example, and I trust this will have a positive effect for our organization, and most importantly, for our students. Everything we do is about knowing every student, inspiring them with our faith and empowering them with the knowledge and skills they need to live purposeful, meaningful lives. Our team, right across the entire Windsor Essex Catholic District School Board, has done a wonderful job fulfilling that mission. However, in order to get even better at delivering on that mission, we need to understand the greater context in which we operate. We face a number of challenges that we must directly confront in order to meet the needs of our students and their families. The rapid change of technology that constantly tests the limits of our resources and our pedagogical methods. The gap in skills required to sustain our economy's job market. The constantly changing demographics of our region. Increased secularization. The growing mental health needs of our students. Maintaining positive relations with our labor groups and providing our staff with the professional growth they need in order to build capacity in our system. It's no secret that our world is constantly becoming more automated, which leaves us as educators wondering about what the jobs of the future will look like, and more importantly, how will we equip our students with the skills that they will need in order to find meaningful occupations when they leave our care. In a recent Windsor Star article about the need for our region to further develop the intellectual side of the auto sector, automotive anal anal analyst Dennis DeRosier was quoted as saying that the future of that sector here lies in six inches between our ears. I would suggest, Madam Chair, that the future of every sector lies in that same expanse and that we have a critical role in ensuring that space in the minds of our 20,000 students is primed with the relevant contemporary knowledge and proficiency they require in order to thrive. We are already making great strides in this area and our student achievement results at the heights we've never previously reached as our graduation as are our graduation rates. However, we must continue to aim higher, keeping in mind that with an ongoing conversation regarding the way EQ, that EQAO administers standardized testing, the coming year may bring significant changes to the way we measure success. We will deal with whatever changes may come and will continue to rely upon these measurables that improve our teaching strategies while seeking out novel ways to develop and deliver innovative new programs to prepare our students for the future. Our STEM Academy and Holy Names prepare students for a future in the area of science, technology, engineering, and math, and has been so successful that we plan to add two new STEM Academies this year at St. Anne and St. Thomas of Villanova. In addition to a new slate of sports academies, which we have seen provide an excellent opportunity to provide student learning, we are also examining the creation of a new Open Boundary Manufacturing Academy, which will provide invaluable experiential learning opportunities for our students in the constantly evolving world of manufacturing and design. We will continue to train our students in the areas of coding and robotics at every level in our schools. From the minute they arrive in junior kindergarten to the time they graduate from our schools, our students are regularly interacting with technology. From the fundamental concepts of programming to the seamlessly endless number of applications that are used to enhance creativity, collaboration, and critical thinking. 
As you are well aware, Madam Chair, the demographic fabric of Windsor-Essex has vastly transformed from the time when you and I were students. We remain the fourth most culturally diverse region in Canada. Last year's wave of new immigrants from Syria is expected to be soon followed by another surge of new immigrants and asylum seekers from El Salvador. Our region continues to be an attractive destination for retirement age couples looking to relocate from larger, more expansive urban centers to locales like ours where the real estate dollars go much further. And while this is good in the short term for our region's economy, these people generally don't bring school aged children with them. These are the type of changes to our region that place increased pressure on our enrollment projections and force us to be more strategic and flexible as we try to anticipate how we allocate teaching and support resources and prepare our facilities to accommodate these demographic shifts. The changing cultural mosaic of our community does present us with a rare opportunity. Our domestic students continue to grow as global citizens as they interact with more and more students from virtually every corner of the globe. We will continue to foster their growth by inviting more international students to learn in our schools. This will help make our schools sustainable but has the added benefits of helping our students form relationships with new friends from around the world and increasing their global competency while supporting the continued sustainability of our community and our country through optimizing the potential of those international students to remain here in Canada to study and to work. On the subject of global competency, we will continue to expand our international baccalaureate programs with a well-established IB program at Assumption for the last 14 years. We are recognized as a leader in IB education in Windsor-Essex. We will continue to build upon that reputation by looking for new ways to expand that program. We have already done this by offering new programs at Cardinal Carter and Leamington that are already growing in popularity with families who want the best educational opportunities for their children. As you recall, Madam Chair, several years ago we went through a dramatic paradigm shift and began allowing non-Catholic students into our elementary schools in response to the numerous requests from our parents we received who wanted faith-based education for their children. This was a positive move for us. However, the reality is that our world continues to become increasingly secularized, which means our role as a Catholic school board has never been more important. As church attendance declines, we see that our schools are often the only places where our students have any meaningful interaction with the fundamental values inherent within our faith. We must continue to work closely with our parishes, our clergy, and our bishop, and all members of our own organization to ensure that our students continue to put their faith into action, that we vigorously defend the unique nature of Catholic education and that our schools remain safe spaces for people of all faiths and orientations. Madam Chair, as I'm certain you know, the growing mental health needs of our students continues to challenge us. From the pervasiveness of technology that can lead to issues of cyberbullying to the changing nature of gender identities, we see that some students are dealing with new levels of associated alienation, anxiety, and depression in some cases fueling addictions and other negative behaviors like self-harm or even suicide. All of these changes have obvious consequences on classroom learning. Perhaps more importantly, they inhibit the emotional, spiritual, and psychological growth that we all hope for in our children. As a Catholic, as a Catholic school board, we have an obligation to find new ways to use our finite resources to help our students through the many hardships they face to direct them towards the community resources where they can get the help they need and to treat them with sensitivity and compassion so that they can successfully resolve the issues now and into adulthood. As we continue working towards our goal of being the best performing school board in Ontario, it is important that we work on building capacity within our organization. We must identify the bright lights among us and set them up for success provide them with opportunities for professional growth and create a culture of advancement where people are encouraged to step forward into leadership positions for all of the right reasons. An essential part of that involves maintaining positive relationships with all of our labor groups and creating an environment of mutual trust and respect and we continue to make positive inroads in this regard. The future of our organization depends on our ability to provide the best opportunities for our students. 
And we can only do that if we establish an atmosphere that fosters confidence and leadership. In conclusion, Madam Chair, I'd like to thank you and the trustees once again for placing your confidence in the leadership team that we've assembled here. You can all rest assured knowing full well that we are working extremely hard to continually improve on how we can provide the best educational opportunities for our students.